Hi you guys and welcome to my channel Claude's Fitness and Health. My name is Claude and today I will be sharing my 5 days dry fasting experience. In fact, it has not been 5 days yet. I am a little bit over 24 hours into my dry fasting experience. I think it has been 26 hours yet. So what did I do yesterday? Yesterday I worked out and I had quite an intense workout session. I first worked on my um, with my resistance bands. I ordered them off of AliExpress or Amazon. Don't even remember anymore. I did um, shoulders and arms and also upper back because I'm quite weak when it comes to those areas of my body. But when it comes to my lower body, like as lower back and legs, I am quite strong. So I was like, mm, let me work my arms. After that, I did a one hour Taibo session. And if you know what Taibo is, you know what's good in life. Like I love Taibo. After working out, I ate one meal, but I didn't, it was not low carb or keto, even though I usually eat low carb or keto. It was moderate carbs, moderate proteins, moderate fat. And it was on purpose because since the workout was so intense and with intense i mean i burned like 900 calories i knew that i needed some carbs to feel better after such an intense workout so um after eating i think it was i think the, the food was like maybe around a thousand calories but not more i didn't even eat that much honestly um i i drank some water it was one liter of water but i added one tablespoon of baking soda and this is quite important when you start your dry fast to drink that mixture to prepare your kidneys for the dry fast after drinking it i immediately started my dry fast and i've been doing it ever since <laughs> so let's move on to how do i feel i actually feel quite amazing i'm not tired i'm not exhausted like i'm not laying in bed all day i actually feel pretty energized um i feel productive i'm able to concentrate like i don't feel like i haven't had water or food for 24 hours honestly and i know that the fatigue is going to get me eventually but i'm just embracing this moment and embracing that i feel amazing what have i done today if i'm looking down it's because i'm checking my card i, I wrote some stuff down to not forget um today i woke up quite late honestly well that's not even true i woke up earlier and then laid in bed that's what i do like i really need to fight that bad habit i woke up worked on my instagram started studying that's all i did what will i be doing today i'm going to study the whole day i think i'm going to study for another four to five hours because i really need to get some stuff done <laughs> And I have some classes to prepare also for tomorrow, so that's going to be funny. I don't know how I'm going to manage it, but well, I'm going to get done when I'm going to get done. And I also know that one question, especially regarding dry fasting, is working out. I'm not going to work out as intense as I usually do, so I'm someone who really works out a lot. I'm not going to be like doing HIIT training or doing like the most exhausting um typo workout session or whatever i'm mostly going to do aerobic sports or i should rather say aerobic workouts meaning um where your heartbeat is under 120 this means walking but when i'm done studying i just call a friend and i just walk for like two hours when you do that the energy source is going to be purely fat so you're going to lose even more fat without sweating and huffing and puffing and it's not as exhausting so it's a great combination um, with the dry fasting dry fasting and walking is amazing you're going to lose tons of weight that's actually it for um, day one I feel amazing um, I'm kind of excited about how I'm going to feel tomorrow. I'm going to make an effort to wake up early. I feel like 7 p.m. Um, 7 p.m. 
7 a.m um latest study maybe take a walk come back study take a walk i think that's a great combination and yeah i'll be back tomorrow let you know how much i lost but i feel amazing i've really nothing else to say but i feel amazing it's officially day two i'm over 48 hours into my dry fast and i have lost a little bit over one kilogram so it's between three and four pounds um i'm looking down because i have some notes here this morning i woke up and um i was i can't even explain that feeling i felt like i slept enough i wasn't really tired even though i didn't sleep a lot i think i slept like six and a half hours or something but i just woke up intuitively and i felt i didn't need any sleep so but after some hours i felt really exhausted you know not the kind of exhausted and being tired that you have because you didn't sleep enough but just low energy i think low energy is a better word than being exhausted or tired i really felt low energy however i'm quite dedicated to the dry fast so even if i feel low energy i know it's going to um, i know i'm going to have like periods where i don't feel that well and then it's going to get better so i just wait um for the bad times to get over I decided to do some strength training. I have resistant bands and I just worked out for like 40 minutes approximately, but really low intensity. Nothing that's going to make you sweat, honestly. Only to like activate your muscles, burn some calories and just, you know, to, just to move, just to do something. Because I feel like I'm addicted to working out where I'm right now. And if I just lay down all day or just walk and don't do something that's at least close to my schedule, it's going to make me feel bad. So I burned around 343 calories in 40 minutes. So that's actually really good for a low intensity workout. And then I started studying. So how do I feel? I actually feel great, like I was saying. I'm definitely a little bit more low energy in comparison to yesterday, but that's kind of normal. I mean, I'm over 48 hours into a dry fast. I'm sure my body is like panicking and stressed and find water. Funny thing is, yesterday I wasn't hungry at all. What happens today is that I had those ha um, hunger pains for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes ago and then it just went away that's why i keep saying that i feel like a dry fast is easier than a water fast or a salt fast because it seems like your body can't concentrate on lacking water and lacking food it's just focusing on lacking water because it is more Im important so i feel like the hormone that's responsible for those hunger pains is not being released in the same amount maybe i'm wrong but i'm not as hungry um, in comparison to dry fasting or fa um, to water fasting or I should say fasting on snake juice. Uh, I had really dry lips today. I mean, my lips are still pretty dry, but there was a, like this morning when I woke up, oh my gosh, they were so dry and I never have dry lips. Like my face is always most moisturized and I always have like really soft lips, but they were so dry today and um, I'm not thirsty but i feel like but i feel that my body wants water i know this is hard to comprehend but let me explain just imagine the feeling of thirst that you have after an intense workout like you know that you definitely need to like x one bottle of water this is not how i'm feeling right now I'm not thirsty in that sense. I just feel like I just see the symptoms of thirst on my body, like the dry lips. My skin is actually kind of glowy. That's funny, but I see the, the dry lips. I'm not going to the bathroom as regularly, you know? So the symptoms are there, but I'm not thirsty. What I'm going to do now is I will be going for a two to three hour walk and especially during the dry fast because i can't work out as 
much as I usually do, I'm definitely going to walk every day and it's always going to be two to three hours. Um, just to burn some calories, get my body moving. Also, I'm trying to not sit as much. I'm trying to stand. So I'm just trying to get in the hours that I'm standing and I'm getting in some hours walking and then I'm doing some low intensity um, strength training. Yeah. I think that's it for today and I'll be back tomorrow. It's day three. I'm officially over 72 hours into my dry fast and I am quite tired, you guys. I feel like if you just take a look at myself, I look tired, especially like looking at my eyes. Like I see that I'm pretty tired and I don't really care about what I look like, honestly. Like usually I'm always dolled up and always cute, but I like I know I look a mess but I just I'm just trying to survive this dry fast um, I didn't sleep well last night it took me quite a while to fall asleep and it's strange because I actually went for a walk at the evening to make it easier for me to sleep when I came back I was really exhausted and tired from the walk and I was laying in bed and, and talking to a friend and I was ready to sleep and I thought, oof, I'm going to have a nice sleep. I'm going to wake up rejuvenated, um, replenished, like full of energy and I just could not fall asleep. I was just spinning and turning on my bed for like hours, I believe. I didn't even dare to take my phone to um, take a look at the time because I was scared. I, I had to wake up early this morning at 6.30. So I was like, if I take a look at the time and it's like three o'clock in the morning and I have to wake up in three and a half hours, I'm going to have a panic attack. So I didn't check, but it was hard. I woke up and I was so tired, so exhausted. And I went to the appointment that I had in the morning and then just walked for another one and a half to two hours. Um, that was great. I came back and laid in bed a little bit. It was stupid. I should have taken a nap, but well, well, I didn't. Then, um, I started my shift because I'm working, but I'm working from home and also studied um, when there was nothing else to, to do. But it's hard, it's hard. Today I'm super hungry. I'm so hungry. Oh my gosh, it's bad today, honestly. And it got worse when my roommate started cooking and I could smell the food through my room. I've made it a I've made it a big deal to not go to the kitchen, but I can smell the food in my room. So this is really hard right now, but I'm still dedicated. I'm not going to break my fast because it's hard, but it is hard just to let you guys know. Um, my lips and my mouth are super dry, even though my skin looks so good. It's so strange because I do not put on moisturizer. I'm really trying to limit the contact with water as much as I can. I do not put on moisturizer on my skin, but my skin looks so good, honestly. But my lips, oh my gosh, my lips are suffering. They're dry, I have a dry mouth, and I'm just more dizzy than usual. Even if I water fast or I fast on snake juice, I'm always a little, like, a little bit dizzy. I think that's normal, especially when, when I stand up too fast. I have like, I have to take a moment and be like, whoa, girl, <laughs> that was too quick. Um, but it's worse with the dry fasting, especially now on day three. But I'm not miserable, even though I'm like telling you guys that today is quite hard in comparison to day one and day two. Um, I'm not miserable. It's just that I feel like on a day four or day five, of a usual water fast and I also understand now why people say that when you dry fast you have, you have to dry fast for at least 72 hours to really get the benefits of the dry fast because usually when it's getting harder it's when all the benefits are starting to kick in so I woke up and also waited myself and um, I think I lost another three to four pounds I'm quite happy about that, honestly, but I'm just tired, you guys. I'm tired. I think I'm going to go and take a nap. 
I think I'm tired because I didn't have enough sleep this night. I don't think it's just because um, of the dry fast. I think it's mostly due to not sleeping enough at night. I'm going to have a nap now, then try to study for another one to two hours and then just go for another walk. I think I'm going to walk like two hours again. Nothing crazy, just to get some calories burned and just to move, yeah. That's it for today. It's day four and I'm not at 96 hours yet, but I think approximately 92 or 93 hours. As you can see, I'm walking. Um, I went to get my nails done, came out pretty amazing. And I kind of did it on purpose because I expected day four to be terrible and I was right. So I did a, I did an appointment yesterday and um, the nail salon is actually like one hour away from my place and I just decided to use the distance to walk and get my steps in and burn some more calories and as you can see it's my lips are so dry like it's ridiculous they're, li they're literally white like oh, I never look like this guys it's actually kind of embarrassing but you know what I'm doing this for and it's super hot also I'm work I'm wearing like a gym outfit but one that kind of makes me sweat a lot and it is on purpose though because I want to sweat a little bit more my body is trying to retain as much water as possible and I'm trying to make it release even more water even though that's not that easy and usually when I walk my heartbeat is at around 100 to 110 but you guys i think let me check my watch it's at oh someone texted me my heartbeat right now talking to you and walking and i'm not walking fast i mean you guys see that i'm not walking fast my heartbeat is at 150 like dry fasting is really hard on your body just to let you know it's no joke it's not for someone that has never fasted before. It's not for someone that has no experience. Like don't jump into a, into a four or five day dry fast. Ease into it, because it's hard. And I'm someone who's experienced with fasting. I've done seven day fast, five day fast. Like I've had my ups and downs and experiences with fasting, so I know what I'm doing, but it's hard. Last night was terrible. It was so hard for me to fall asleep. It was terribly hard for me to fall asleep um what's that oh sorry i was turning in bed laying in bed forcing myself to fall asleep for like i would say two hours fell asleep and woke up at 5 a.m 5 a.m you guys so again i think i maybe got in i would guess maybe say four hours of sleep and i knew if I wake up now, it's going to break me down. Like I'm not going to be able to go for another day if I don't sleep. So I put some YouTube videos on with like falling asleep, music, meditation and stuff. And just force myself to go back to bed and it actually worked. So I slept for another, I think three hours. So my total is like around, I would guess seven hours of sleep. It's not optimal because um, I actually function better on eight hours of sleep but it's better than four hours so I'm taking what, what I can get I feel terrible today like no sugar coating no lying no oh I feel for no I feel terrible today sorry for the lightning but I'm walking under a bridge I'm exhausted I'm hungry I'm low energy and even walking is hard on me and I'm actually I'm someone who's pretty active I work out a lot I work out like five six times a week lift weights do hit training do cardio training and also walk as cardio but <laughs> my body is exhausted it really is exhausted. Let me see where, where we were going. I 
health I'm going the right way here. So my body is really exhausted. I'm really tired. I actually wanted to go back home after the, the appointment, but there's one store that was close to the na nail salon that sells some low carb bread and just some low carb goodies. But I'm going to talk about my diet in another video. So far, I lost um, another two kilos. I told you guys, I told you when it's hard, when you're feeling like giving up and you're feeling like you're not able to make it, that's when the gains and the weight loss actually kicks in. So don't try to be comfortable fasting. Fasting is not for fun. It's going to be hard. You know that when you start a fast. So when it gets hard, don't just give up. Don't just give in, but push through. And well, and just try to achieve your goal. One thing that's, all, that's also actually quite funny and I never mentioned is that I'm actually using the bathroom like one to two times a day. So my body is still releasing water. And yesterday it was kind of a lot, even though I'm not consuming any water. Whew, I'm tired. So like I said, I'm walking back home. I actually wanted to take a nap, but I'm going, I'm going to arrive at home just at the time of my shift since um, I'm working from home. And it's in four hour shift. And I feel like if I don't get a nap, I'm going to hit a pretty bad low today. And I really don't want that. So maybe I'm going to talk to you later today just to let you know if something happened or how I feel because I feel like this is the time to share the experience because this is the time I'm actually quite suffering. It is day five. Um, I'm not 120 hours into my fast yet, but it has been, I think, 118 hours. And you guys, it's hard it's really hard i'm exhausted i'm tired um i feel like i'm going to faint honestly but i think it is due to me um being on my period i forgot to tell you guys yesterday that um i got my period and this made things even worse i don't even know if it was yesterday or the day before that it started but it made things even worse because now I'm losing a lot of blood and I'm not taking in any fluid. So this made it even worse. <sighs> Let's just wrap it up and then I'm going to break that fast. Oh, sorry. Let me just wrap it up, guys. Um, day one and day two were pretty easy. It was really easy. As I was telling you, I was feeling amazing. Um, I had only benefits. I could even do some um, low intensity um, strength training and I walked a lot. But this is one thing that I think I would change the next time when dry fasting. I was focusing on getting my 10 to 15k steps in every day. And I think the first two days are misleading. You're feeling well. But if you're working out that much, you are going to get in a pretty terrible low the next two to three days. And this is what happened to me. I was um, overexcited. Um, I overdid it. And now I'm just reaping the consequences. That's how I feel, honestly. Day four, yes, yesterday it was hard. I don't even know why I thought I could walk that much. I think I walked 10k, 15k steps, came back home and took like a nap. Like I could not leave the bed after that because there was just no energy left in my body. Even though I know I have stored fat as energy, but it was just intense. Even though it was easier for me to fall asleep when I woke up, like the hunger, I know sometimes when we're hungry, we're like, oh, my stomach is eating itself up. 
but you guys my stomach was eating itself up like I can't explain a feeling I've never felt such a hunger before not even during my seven day fast it was quite extreme and in the first three days I was not thirsty but day four and day five oh my gosh I had to walk today to um, go and pick up a, like a cart for my school or something and walking there i already felt like mm, 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 claude i think walking is not a good idea you are not feeling well and <coughs> i usually make that distance in 20 minutes it took me like 40 minutes to get there and when i got there um there were other students that were there to pick up the cards i was standing in line and you guys i was close to fainting honestly like i could not stand I had to like lean or something on something or like sit because I could not I could not I could definitely not stand and after that I had to come back to do some to, to do some grocery shopping for this movie I'm going to do in a minute and I was standing in a row again like I had to like include like do like breathing techniques or something just to not faint that's how bad it is even leaning against something even leaning against something was not enough quite honestly and um but i lost another yesterday i actually lost a lot i think i lost like five pounds today i lost another I think three pounds that's quite a lot so I'm left with having lost if I'm not mistaking seven kilograms so I lost more than I lost during my seven day water fast I lost like 15 pounds yeah but that's that was a crazy experience just just to sum up the experience Am I regretting that I did the five-day fast? Hell no. It was a great experience because I'm pushing my body and, ex and especially my mind to the limits. And I like that. Even though I'm telling you guys now that the last, that today and yesterday was quite terrible. Sometimes your mind is just playing games with you. And it's just trying to make things worse in your mind or in your head than it actually is just for you to break your fast and to eat food so i was ignoring my mind and i was ignoring the yeah the desire to eat i would say and the, and the desire to drink and just focus on sticking to the five days as good as i can i think it brought me a lot of mental clarity it brought me a lot of discipline it showed me that not just regarding fasting but regarding everything i do in life if i set my mind up in a certain way and i decide that i'm going to do something i can actually do it i just have to stop making excuses stop trying to look for the easy route and just do it just do it as like a saying <laughs> just do it um I'm actually going to break my fast now with you guys and oh I told you that I'm quite surprised that I'm still going to the bathroom and losing liquid but it's not just liquid guys it's quite strange because I'm not eating I'm not drinking and I'm still going to the bathroom so I don't know about that uh, but, but as you can see my lips are super dry but my face still looks really good However, I also have to make clear that I'm doing a soft dry fast. It's a soft dry fast in the sense that I'm not doing a high dry fast because when I go to the bathroom, I'm still washing my hands. I live with people, it's disgusting if I don't wash my hands honestly and then touch surfaces. And But I'm not taking showers. I'm brushing my teeth, but not with toothpaste, just with water and like, you know, brushing it, that stuff. So I'm really limiting my contact with water, but I still do have minimal contact with water. But enough talking. I'm going to break my fast now. Let me look. Let me check my bottle. Wait. 
see where I put it. I have one liter of water here with one tablespoon, or not one tablespoon, one teaspoon, I'm sorry, of baking soda and it's important for my kidneys because they're quite acid due to all the um, ketones released. And you guys, just watch me having a sip of water after five days. didn't even realize that my throat was so dry but now drinking some water <clears throat> I'm really feeling how like I'm really feeling how dry my throat is oh my god <sighs> even though you may just do it for weight loss like also watch your body and watch what impact this dry fast has on you mentally honestly but maybe this is a topic for another video but you see I'm like whew, really emotional right now because of water like don't be scared of your body retaining water because let me tell you it is going to retain water even though I lost like 15 pounds I definitely know that my body is going to retain like five pounds i expect gaining back five pounds of water but i'm going to go back into my rolling 72s after the dry fast starting on sunday that's why i don't really care honestly i'm going to lose it pretty fast due to like only eating every third day honestly but don't be don't be sad or like angry for gaining back weight. This is just what happens when you fast. And it's something that you have to take into consideration. So do not think that you're like going to lose 15 pounds and then be 50 pounds lighter. No. You, when you start that fast, when you plan on doing dry fast, even snake juice fast or like water fast, you have to know that you're going to gain a little bit of it back. How much you gain back is uh, depends on how you break your fast and how you feed your body after fasting if you if you break your fast with McDonald's and you keep eating McDonald's for the, for the next couple days yeah you may gain all of it back but if you are maybe giving yourself one to two days and do like OMAD and work out and then go back into extended fast or like or like myself doing rolling 72s you may actually gain back five pounds and then lose another two, two to three pounds and just get going on your weight loss journey. This is actually a lot of water. And now I'm going to finish that up and then maybe wait for like half an hour to 40 minutes. Just lay in bed and listen to my body. And then I'm going to come back later and show you what and show you the preparation for my smoothie and now I did this big ass smoothie um, but it's just 290 calories even though it looks like a lot the recipe is on my Instagram account I hope I can link it somewhere here I'm also having a little bit of coconut water and I just did an iced tea that's going to the fridge right now it smells amazing I cannot wait to have it later on in the day it is super helpful to rehydrate with fruits because they contain a lot of electrolytes and also coconut water because coconut water has a lot of potassium so it's going to help you to make you feel better instantly i'm already feeling better from the baking soda mix that i had prior but i think that the fruits are going to boost my well-being even more i'm going to consume the smoothie the coconut water and then just lay down for a moment and then do a fruit salad. If you want to see what the fruit salad looks like, just go to my Instagram account. Um, I think there's nothing else to say about the dry fasting and loss. A lot of weight. It was a challenge, but also helped me when it comes to my discipline. And I'm going to show you the before and after pictures.